America's most well-known TV game show host has died. Chuck Woolery was the original host of Wheel of Fortune. He also hosted Love Connection and Scrabble, then later became a right-wing podcaster. Mark Young, Woolery's podcast co-host and friend, said in an email early today that Woolery died at his home in Texas with his wife Kristen present. Woolery was inducted into the American TV Game Show Hall of Fame in 2007 and earned a Daytime Emmy nomination in 1978. Chuck Woolery was 83. And here, sir, is your $25,000 question. Which of the following shows did not feature yours truly, Chuck Woolery, as a regular host? Love Connection, Scrabble, Wheel of Fortune, Singled Out. Um, I am pretty sure about this. Chuck, I've been following your career. Well, let's see. What did you see, uh, Dennis? I'm going to say the one that you did not regularly host was Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Carol, would you accept or reject that answer? I'd have to agree. Have to agree. Wheel of Fortune is the one. Okay. Well, $25,000. Is it Wheel of Fortune? Well, what? The shortest, you have a congratulations, oh the, shortest, the team that lasted the shortest of anybody in the history of greed on my uh, question. Of course, it would be me. I did Wheel of Fortune. I didn't do singled out. We're going to take a commercial. We're going to meet a brand new team that knows a little bit more about me right after this. Stay with us. It's a nine-letter word. And the clue is, he's got a lot to learn. Score! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. Travel! And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All right. Thank you, Charlie Schumann, and welcome to Scrabble. It's a television version of everybody's favorite game. And we're back. It's only been about three years, but it's good to be back. It's nice to be back with you. We've missed you. Hope you enjoy today's show. Charlie's got our first two players, and he's going to introduce them right now. Charlie? She's very healthy. He's a production administrator. From Venice Beach, California, Deb Howard. And from Los Angeles, George Seeley. All right. Nice to see you both. Nice to have you with us. How are you, Deb? I'm just fine, thanks. Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, my dad was a naval aviator, so I moved around quite a bit. I've lived in 17 cities in four different countries, but I'm settled now here in Los Angeles. What was your favorite of all the places that you lived? Uh, probably Tokyo, because I learned Tokyo, how to speak really? uh, Japan. Japanese. Hantoyo. Well, we are. Yeah. well, nice to have you here, Deb. Yeah, Good luck you. to you. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, George Seeley is our returning champion from three years ago. Yeah. And it's nice to see you here, well, George. You nice waited a long back. time. I bet you never thought you'd come back, <laughs> did you? Never. But here you are. It's nice to have you. Now, which one of you won the cross cut stage? You did, Deb. Okay, Deb's going to go first. And we're going to play Scrabble. We're going to play until one of these players gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint, has a chance at the bonus sprint, which we'll be building as we play. Uh, take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter R. There are nine letters in this word. And the clue is, and it's a long clue, so pay attention. After years of only seeing his, or after, or after years of only seeing his own, Robinson Crusoe was shocked when he saw Fridays. <laughs> All right, the rest of that word scrambled. They're controlled by the number of tiles between you. Uh, don't forget those pink and blue squares. They're worth a lot of money, okay? Deb, here we go. Do you know what it might be? I don't have a clue right now. Do you remember now? the clue? Um, <laughs> I don't either. Go ahead, take a couple of tiles. Okay. Let's go at it. All right, I'll pick uh, tile number 11. And let's try lucky number seven. Okay, you got a P and you have a T. Which would you like? Uh, let's place that P, please, Chuck. Okay. Falls right in. After years of only seeing his own, Robinson Crusoe was shocked when he saw Fridays. Footprint. That's exactly right. It is footprint. It's one and nothing. Good for you. Very nicely done. Yeah. Did you know that, George? I hadn't heard. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> Okie dokie. Building on the letter O in footprint. Seven letters in the word. The clue is... Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. That's the worst Carl Sagan I have ever heard. <laughs> but it's the only one I have. So Carl. here you go, George. Okay, I'll take number three. And 
in number five. And you have an O and a P. I will take the P. First position in the word, Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. I have no guess. I'll take the O. $1,000 in the jackpot. 1000 bucks. Tell me what it is. Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. No, George? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh too bad. I'll take the seven and the six. Okay, with an R and an I, which one would you like? I will take the R, please. Carl Sagan believes it was created in a series of billions and billions of small explosions. I, okay. I'll take the I. No, so the I is a stopper. Okay, Deb. I'm not seeing it, so let me take a couple of tiles. Let me take the nine. And number eight. Got a P and an N. Uh, let me take that N, please. Last position in the word. Carl Sagan believes it was created in millions and billions of billions. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for getting me out of having to say that again. I was so sick of that clue, I can't tell you. Thanks, Deb. Two You're to nothing. Welcome. George going to have to jump in here. Okay. Building on the letter O in popcorn, eight letters in the word. The clue is long time no see. Long time no see. Yep. A couple of tiles. Guess, if you don't I'll work. take a tile six and eight. And a D and an I. I should have told you that you could answer that with the O and it would give you a thousand dollars in the uh, bonus spot, but uh, do you have any idea what it is? Don't have a clue. Well, okay, D and I, work with them. <laughs> um, long time no see. I'll take a D, please. First position in the word, long time no see. And the I? Second position in the word, long time no see. No guess. I'll take the two. And the ten. A U and an R. I'll take the R. Last position in the word. Long time no see is the blue. Dinosaur. Well, you're getting back in the game. All right. Since it's two to one, George, we're going to stay with you. So, oh, we're going to stay with both of you. Uh, it's time for speed word. That bell means that we're out of time, so we're going to play the rest of this game in speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Of course, we don't give you the last letter. All right? Okay. All righty. Building on the letter I and dinosaur. Five letters in the word. The clue is, it's spring-loaded. Ready? Go. It's spring-loaded. It's spring George. Oasis. That's right. It's all tied up. Two to two. Going to stay in speed word. Finish it off. Good luck to both of you. Building on the letter O in Oasis, there are seven letters in this word, and the clue is, he ruled with an iron fist. Ready? Go. He ruled with an iron fist. He ruled with an iron fist. Dip. Robocop. That's exactly right. You got it. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Well, George, thank God it. Came thanks back and waited all this time. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for playing thank the game. Thank you. We enjoyed thank having you, you back. Had we really did. By the way, we have a parting gift for you. Charlie's going to tell you about it now. George, for you, a Bank the Box 3-inch portable LCD TV is smart, very smart. Small and easy to use. You may watch it anywhere, anytime, even outdoors. Furnished by Magnavox. Well, now you can watch us on TV with that. Thanks again, George. Thank you. All righty. Well, we got a new champ. Hiya, Deb. I'm doing good uh, now. That was great. Listen, boy, I tell you, footprint killed me when you got that so early. That was terrific. A uh, $1,000 uh, in the uh, bonus jackpot, right? Yeah. Going to come back, going to play Scrabble Sprint. We'll be back to do that right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Try to beat that time. I'm going to play four words, remind you to hit your plunger, because that's the only thing that will stop the okay. clock. Okay? No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Okay, Deb. All right. First word, five letters. Some people always keep them covered. Some people always keep them covered. Ready? Ready. Go. A. S. Y. Some people always keep w. them covered. Uh, Y. Some people always keep them covered. Can't give you the last letter. Some people always keep them covered. Oh. 
hot. Ten thing. second penalty on that. Yawns. Yeah, we'll have to go to an alternate may, uh, eventually. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, second word, seven letters. He'd rather be seen than heard. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready. Go. C. A. M. He'd rather be seen than heard. R. E. You. He'd rather be seen than heard. Marceau. Yeah, that was tough. That was tough. And the first one was tough, too. You never know when the next person comes up. Okay, next word, eight letters. The miles add up there. The miles add up there. Ready? Ready. Go. O. R. M. D. The miles add up there. Odometer. That's correct. The next word has nine letters. Okay. They have to pick up sticks. They have to pick up sticks. Ready? Ready. Oh, pardon me. That's not correct. Let me say it again. They have pickup sticks. They have pickup sticks. You got it straight? I think so. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. S. P. They have pickup sticks. P. C. They have pickup sticks. Popsicle. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, I said something earlier on that you had a 10-second penalty, and it wasn't a 10-second penalty because you didn't give me the wrong answer. All you did was miss the word. So we're going to move to your alternate now, okay? Five letters in this last word. It can make people hear voices. It can make people hear voices. Ready? Ready. Go. R. A. O. Radio. That's right. 49 seconds. Well, I mean, you know, Deb, who knows? Who knows, if Yon's comes up the way it did the last time, maybe the next person won't get it, and they'll have to go to an alternative and, uh, or an alternate word, and they might get it. Anyway, 49 seconds, that's the time to beat. Challenger's going to find, uh, find out how tough that is right after this. We'll be back. Below the waist, see Dick laugh. <laughs> laugh with Dick. Categories weekdays on NBC Daytime. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Lorre. Standing here with Deb Howard, who is our champ, and she's ready to face one of these two folks. Charlie? She's a store manager. He's an art teacher. From Galveston, Texas, Monique Littlejohn. And from Manhattan Beach, California, Sam Yuskovich. Well, nice to have you both with us. How are you, Monique? Fine, thank you, Chuck. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm now a store manager in Santa Barbara, California, but I moved out to California for surfing. Good luck to you. Hi, Sam. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself, Sam. Yes, I'm, I'm a high school teacher in Los Angeles. I, this year I celebrate my 33rd year of marriage to the same lovely lady and my 32nd year in high school. That's a long puberty. Boy, it certainly is. Yeah, nice to have you here, Sam. Who won the toss backstage? I did, Chuck. I'm going to start with you. Here we go. All right, building on the letter N. There are nine letters in this word, and the clue is stay away from them or, you're, or they'll fry your brain. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. I have no idea, so I'm going to go for number three and tile number four, please. N or an A? Uh, I'll take the A, please. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to go with the letter N, please. Two N. Still don't know where we're going, so I'm going to go for number five and for number six. C or an M. Okay, give me the M, please. No, sir. That's a stopper. All right, Monique, you got a chance at this. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. No guess, Chuck. I'll have to take the two. C or an A. I'll take the A, please. Yep, that falls in. I'll have to take the C. First position in the word. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. No guess. I'll no have guess. To two more tiles. Two stoppers still out with an 11, 11 which is a and B. a 1. And a U. I'll take that B, please. Stay away from them or they'll fry your brain. Cannibal. That's right. Better nothing. A little tough to come up with the answer these days. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Building on the letter A in Cannibal, seven letters in the word. The clue is, few people are in the market for it. Okay, I have no idea on that. I'm going to go for number three. And 
let's try number four. I or a P. All right, Chuck, let's place that P. Two people are in the market for it. Okay, I still don't know. Let, let's place the I. The, the clue again, please. A uh, few people are in the market for it. Hmm, still got me. I'm going to take two more. I'm going to try number five and number one. R or another P. Okay, Chuck, let's try that R. Still don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the letter P. Last position in the word. Few people are in the market for it, Sam. I still don't know. I'm going to have to go with two more letters. <laughs> You're going to go with a watch, Sam. I got a six. I'm going to take a six, and I'm going to take a two. Another P and an S. Okay, um, give me the letter S, please. Few people are in the market for it. Okay, I'm going to give her a try at parsnip. That's exactly right. Boy, that was a tough one. That went all the way to the end. Monique did not get a break on it. Going to go back to you, Monique. Uh, Bell means that we're out of time. We're going to play this uh, last few words in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Uh, we'll let the letters drop in one at a time. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Building on the letter I and parsnip. Eight letters in the word. The clue is, he's always saying, now, where are we? Ready? Go. Now, where are we? That's what he's always saying. Now, money. Amnesia. Yes, for $1,000, I do believe. Okay, that $1,000 goes in our bonus uh, jackpot, and uh, the bonus jackpot is now worth $2,000. The winner of the bonus sprint gets to play for that at the end of the day. Here we go. It is two to one. Monique's going for the game. Sam's trying to tie it up. We're building on the letter M and amnesiac. Five letters in the word, and the clue is a place where you can take a rest. Ready? Go. A place where you can take a rest. A place where you can... Sam. A comma. Uh, yes, that's right, comma. Yes, yes. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why, coma came to my mind. <laughs> I personally am in a coma. I don't know about you, Sam. Okay, it's all tied up. Anybody's game building on the letter A and comma. Five letters in the word. The clue is some women like to have theirs tickled. <laughs> Ready? Go. Some women like to have theirs tickled. Sam, Fancy. yes, for another $500. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let me walk in front of you, Sam, and uh, thank Monique for being with us. Thank and uh, we got the, uh, the, what is that thing we have her? We have that uh, television for her, don't we? That's it? Yeah, the TV. The TV. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks, Monique. Thank and you very much. Good luck up there in Santa Barbara. And, uh, boy, I'm telling you. Sam came through, 500 bucks, 2,500 in the bonus jackpot, and we're going to come back and play Scrabble Scrabble right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> Coma. Back to Scrabble and Chuck Lowry. Thank you, Charlie. Deb Howard is our champion. She has $500. She established a time of 49 seconds. Uh, Sam Yuskovich is our challenger. He has uh, $500. This is played for $1,000, a chance of the bonus sprint for $2,500. Going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Good luck, Sam. Thank you. First word, five letters. Some people always keep them covered. Ready? Go. Y. N. Some people always keep them covered. W. S. Yon. That's correct. Got it right on the buzzer. Got to give it to him. Yep. Okay. Second word, seven letters. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready, Sam? I'm ready. <laughs> you scared me there for a minute. I thought you made it passed away on me. Okay. He'd rather be seen than heard. Ready? Ready. Go. R. A. A. He'd rather be seen than heard. C. M. E. He'd rather be seen than heard. Marceau. Yes, on the buzzer again. <laughs> All right. Third word, eight letters. The miles add up there. All right. Ready? Yes. Go. R. M. O. The miles add up there. E. 
T. D. Odometer. That's correct. The last word, you have 10 seconds, 10.9 seconds, I should say. It's the last word. They have pickup sticks. Ready? Ready. Go. C. P. They have pickup sticks. L. F. E. They have pickup sticks. I. Oh, sorry, Sam. Boy, I'm telling you, by the skin of your teeth, by the skin of your teeth, you got by that. Sam, thank you. 500 to you. Uh, Deb has 1,500. She's got a chance for 2,500 bonus. We'll be back to do it right after this. Woo, that was really close. Uh, our new champion on our new show for the new season. She's got $1,500. This bonus is for 2,500. Two words under 10 seconds. Okay? Good luck. I'll help you as much as I can. Okay. First word, six letters. Most of them are sitting pretty. Most of them are sitting pretty. Ready? Yep. Go. D. F. Most of them are sitting pretty. L. M. Most of them are sitting pretty. Model. That's right, 2.5 seconds left. Let's see how you do. Ooh, you might be able to get this off the flu. If not, you'll be real close. Okay. Seven letters. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Ready? Give it a go. Go. G. No, you hit your buzzer. You got to tell me what it is. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah, it's all gone. It was piglets. It was piglets. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, David. It happens. It happens. We're going to come back tomorrow. Bonus be even higher. That's all the time we got for today. Bye bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the following companies have paid a fee for product promotion. Paracetin for use at the first sign of a cold or flu. It'll relieve all your major symptoms fast and help keep them from getting worse. The look of granite feel of stone ease of spray paint. Plastic coat Flexstone puts color and texture at your fingertips. Trust Smith Brothers, a tradition since 1847 to soothe sore throats. Smith Brothers, available in bags, boxes, and rolls. Some members of our studio audience will receive DeLonghi's fine quality espresso cappuccino maker. Stylish Italian design, automatically controls proper balance, and it's easy to use, a coffee lover's delight. Furnished by DeLonghi. It's a seven-letter word, and the clue is a bubble bath. It's the crossword game you played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Alrighty, thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Today, the jackpot and our bonus print starts all over again at $1,000. Going to be adding more to it as we go along. Big news for you at home, starting uh, this coming Monday through May 17th, you're going to have a chance to play Scrabble right from your own home. All you need is a touchstone phone. There'll be over 100 winners every week with a first prize of $1,000 going every day to the player with the highest score. Also, a grand prize of $10,000. And every day on the show, we're going to give you advanced clues to help you solve those first telephone puzzles of the day. I'm going to tell you more about this later in the, in the day. And Charlie has our first two players. Charlie? She's our champion. He's a musician. Originally from Davenport, Iowa, Gene Marinelli. And originally from Rome, Georgia, Peter Hobart. All right, nice to have you both with us. How are you doing, Gene? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, tell us more about yourself. Well, I, I'm Jean, and like I said yesterday, I'm six weeks pregnant, so last night after the show, uh, my husband and I went out and bought some maternity clothes for me. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, how nice. And, yeah. and not even showing it, too. I know. It's yeah. amazing. Short evening, was it? Yeah, it was short, yeah. yeah. yeah nice to have you here, Jean. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Peter. How are you? How are you? You're a musician. Jean's a musician. She's a French hornist, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, and what do you play? Um, I play electric guitar, uh -huh. and um, mm -hmm. I sing in a band. Or used to sing in a band called the Minkmen back in Chicago, where I now live. The Minkmen? Minkmen. 
And, and where did you get that name? Um, we were at a party, and um, we were trying to come up with a name for the band, and the rest of the band had come up with some lame names. And um, somebody was drinking a drink called the Mink Men, which is lukewarm scotch and room water temperature, well, room temperature water. We only uh, have so much time, Peter. I know. <laughs> Well, that's and it. And you came up with a Mink Man. Mink Man, that was it. Yeah, well, it's nice to have you. You're the nice challenger, here. you know. You got to go first. Uh, Jean's already won $8,500. She just killed. Uh, Going to play Scrabble till one of our players gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Chance the bonus, uh, which we'll be building as we play. Take a look at the board as we fill. Uh, <laughs> I get my mouth fixed. I check my. They said guns. Check your guns at the door, and I check my tongue. Building on the letter O, nine letters in the word. The clue is some enchanted evening. Some enchanted evening. I have no clue. Okay. So I'm going to take tile three and tile eight. H. Well, an H. I think I'll take an H. First position in the word, worth $500 in the bonus jackpot, some enchanted evening. I still don't know the other H. That's a stopper. Gene? Okay, I'm going to guess it. Halloween. That's right. It is Halloween, yes. She does this so fast, I may have to go building on the letter A in Halloween. Five letters in the word. The clue is the odd man out. Odd man out. Yes. It'll fill in here in a second. The odd man out. Well, I'm not sure, so I'll take tile three and tile one. I don't get this. I'll take the W, please. First position in the word, the odd man out. Um, Want to guess it? <laughs> a, please. <laughs> okay. That's a stopper, Gene. I'm going to guess it. Waldo? No, incorrect. Oh. Back to you, Peter. Nah, I'm going to take some tiles. Tile number four. I don't get that either, Gene. Waldo, the odd man out. And tile number six. There's a D and a K. I'll take the K, please. The odd man out. Uh, I'll take the D, please. Gene? Okay, I'll take number seven. I'm not going to guess it right now. And number five. R and an O. Uh, I'll take the O, please. Thousand dollars. The odd man out. I'm going to guess. Okay. Wacko? That's right, it's Wacko. Yeah. Excuse me, I would like to consult with my illustrious staff for just a second. What exactly does that mean? Uh, it means that uh, a wacko is an odd man, and he's out and about like Jan. <laughs> That's what I have to deal with. Okay, Peter, building on the letter O and wacko, nine letters in the word. The clue is, he gets only so far that he finds the rest is difficult. Okay. Give you a thousand dollars if you know what it is right now. I sure don't. Okay. I'll take the two. You give and up nine. so easily, Peter. I know. N or a P. I'll take the P, please. Place the P, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hold everything. Hold everything right here. Did they tell you when you had all the meetings about how to play this game? Say <laughs> never say I'll take a P, Chuck. <laughs> Always say I'll place the P. Is that right? <laughs> they told did they, me. Did they? <laughs> I just knew it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you took a P in spite of them, didn't you? All right. Okay, Jean. I'll take tile number six, please. Anna and I. Uh, place the N, please. He only gets so far, then he finds the rest is difficult. Uh, I'll place, place the I, please. Okay, I'm going to take two more tiles. Number seven and number eight. I or an M? Uh, I place the M, please. I uh, place the I, please. He only gets so far, and then he finds the rest is difficult. Okay, I'm going to take two more tiles. Number five and number eleven. L or an A? I uh, place the A, please. Insomniac. It's the end, boy. One, two, three. She's tough. She is very tough. Now, Peter, what can I say? I had a nice gift for you. And
you know, Charlie will tell you about it. Charlie? Peter, for you, add elegance to your dining table with the Wallace Five Candle Candelabra, fashioned in the Baroque pattern, furnished by Wallace. Now, see, if, if either one of you played piano, I mean, it would come in handy. But you can't put that thing on your guitar. You certainly can't put it on a French horn. I don't get it. I don't know. Thanks, Thank Peter. Goodness. We enjoyed having you. Well, you did it again, Gene. Boy, just in illustrious fashion, too. Thank you so much. I mean, so some much. tough stuff up there. Thank yeah, you so boy. much. She's going to come back. She already has $9,000. Going to establish a sprint time right after this. Stay with us. Marinelli has nine thousand dollars. Boy, you're doing great, aren't you? I guess I am. Yes, you do. Trust me, you are. Thank you. Yeah, she's going to establish a time to wonder the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger, because that's what stops the clock. No stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay. Good luck. First word. Five letters. They do lots of sniffling. They do lots of sniffling. Actually, that's not correct. They do lots of sniffing. They do lots of sniffing. Ready? Okay. Go. N. S. B. Do lots of sniffing. Snobs. That's correct. The second word has seven letters. <laughs> the horn section. The horn section. Okay, I This wasn't planned, believe I me. I better get this. Ready? Okay, go ahead. Go. N. E. L T. The horn section. R. S. Yeah, it probably worked against you more than it worked for you, didn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Third word, eight letters. A subtitle. A subtitle. Ready? Yeah. Go. S. L. A. U. A subtitle. N. Nautilus. That's correct. The last word has nine letters. People usually have a ball there. People usually have a ball there. Ready? Yeah. Go. Y. G. M. Gymnasium. That's right. Boy, that's great. 27.2. Those were tough. And I tell you, I think you're going to be all right with that one. 27.2 is the time to beat. Be back to find a challenger right after this. Stay with us. Yeah, that's... Uh... telephone Scrabble game that starts on Monday, April 26th. Going to give you a phone number you need to call. There's going to be a charge of 95 cents a minute, but there is an alternate method of entry at no charge for those of you who'd like to write in. And we'll show you that address at the end of the show. Remember, just by picking up your telephone, you can win $10,000. Right now, Charlie has our uh, next two players, and here they are. She's a student. He's an interpreter. From Los Angeles, Myra Cycli. And from Canoga Park, California, Ross McQuaid Shryock. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Myra? Fine, thanks. Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a UCLA Bruin in my fourth year, and I'm studying psychology. Good. And you hope to do what with that? Uh, I want to be a child psychologist. Good. Okay, nice to have you here, Myra. Thank you. Hi, Ross. You're an interpreter? Right. What kind of interpreter? I work as a sign language interpreter at a oh, high school I and see. at a university here in town. Now, when you do that at a, at a high school, do you do that, like, on television? or No. Uh, deaf students will enroll into a regular class with other hearing students, and I go in and whatever the teacher says, I put into sign language. Really? And the students, if they're not speaking, uh -huh. uh, whatever they sign, I will translate oh, into spoken okay. English. Oh, good. Who won the and toss back stage? I did. Okay, Mara, let's go to the board. Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word, and the clue is, this is how some guys get their goose cooked. I always loved this. This okay. is how some guys get their goose cooked. I don't have a guess, so I'm going to take number eight and the number seven, please. A B and an S. I'll take the S, please. B, please. No, that's a stopper. Okay, Ross. Okay, a little early. I'll take the nine and the one. N and an S. Place the N. That's a stopper. Now you can in a position to do some money here now, Myra. Okay, I'll take the number 10, please. E and an S. I'll go for the E, please. This is how some guys get their goose cooked. S? I don't know it yet. I'll take the 6 and the 5, please. R and another E. The R, please. E. 
This is how some guys get their goose cooked. Five hundred dollars. I don't know. It's okay. There's only two stoppers. Or there's only one stopper left, so we'll go for the you're four. You're in pretty good shape. And the three, please. R and a C. R, please. Unfortunately, that was it. Do you know what it is, Ross? Yes, I do. Tell me. Fricassee? Fricassee is exactly right. Hit your plunger. Yeah. Fricassee. Yeah, you got to do that. Right. Well, here we go, Myra. Building on the letter R in Fricassee. Six letters in the word. The clue is they've appeared in a lot of blue movies. Okay. I don't have a guess. Number eight. And six, please. I and an S. Take the I, please. The I is a stopper. Make it back to you. We'll see, Ross. Uh, I don't know it. I'll take a, the four. F and an S. You repeat the clue, please. Uh, they've appeared in a lot of blue movies. Uh, play CF. Surfers? No. Doesn't fit. No. Oh well. No. Back to you, Myra. <laughs> I don't have a guess, so I'm going to take the five, please. M or an S? I'll take the S, please. It's worth $1,000, Myra. They've appeared in a lot of blue movies. Smurfs. Smurfs! Yeah, that's it. There you go. 3,000 in that jackpot. jackpot. Ross, building on the letter M in Smurfs, five letters in this word, and the clue is, some girls will bend over backwards to do it. This is one of your clues, right, Chuck? Do I'm I sorry? One of your clues? No, no, no. no, 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 no I'm yours. not responsible for this. I'll take the two and the three. M or an I? Place the M. And that's a stopper, Myra. Okay, I don't have a guess, so I'm going to take the number five, please. Have an L or an I? I, please. L, please. <laughs> Some girls will bend over backwards to do it. I'll take two more tiles. Four, please. And one. Oh, please. Some girls will bend over backwards to do it. Can't give you the last letter. Limbo? Yes. Well, you, you said that like you were absolutely amazed. Well, what, well, do you know what limbo is? Yes. Well, you have to bend way over backwards to get under that little thing. And... I know. Oh, Myra, okay. <laughs> Bell means we're running short on time. Going to play the rest of this in uh, speed word. Are you signing over there, Ross? I saw you doing... Are you saying... I, are you... To the contestant coordinator, this is not cheating. I was trying to get the score. Oh, okay. All right. It's two, two to one. one. I'm going to tell one you what two it two is right two. now. We're in speed word, Ross. You're trying to tie it up. And uh, Myra's going for the game. Building on the letter L in limbo, five letters in the word. And the clue is a rest home. Ready? Go. A rest home. Ross. Hotel. That's correct. It's all tied up. <laughs> Building on the letter O in hotel, five letters in the word. And the clue is he really looked up to his girlfriend. Ready? Go. He really looked up to his girlfriend. Myra? Rodeo? I... Really? You know what this is, Ross? Romeo? That's correct. It's Romeo, yeah. 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 Now, you both look like you're a little bewildered there, but you it's know for sure. Crazy. Yeah. Well, Rodeo will look up at somebody, though. Yeah. I don't know who. Let's make a guess. Yeah. We have a candelabra for you. You can stake that and stick it anywhere you like, okay? Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks, well, what is it with? I mean, really? Can you believe that? I mean, good night, you guys. Place it. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. Ross has got $500. He's going to try to beat that uh, Scrabble Sprint time. We'll be right back right after this. Congratulations, Ross. We just thought of a great new clue over there. Some people take it and stick it where the sun don't shine. Tell me what it is. Candelabra. Candelabra, right, yes. Okay. Gene Marinelli, 27.2. Ross McQuaid Shiloh. Shy Shryock. Shryock, I'm sorry. Shryock. All right. Going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All the letters are good. First word, five letters. They do lots of sniffing. 
They do lots of sniffing. Ready? Ready. Go. No, noses. No, that's incorrect. Ten second penalty. We'll continue with the word. They do lots of sniffing. Ready? Ready. Go. N. S. B. They do lots of sniffing. Snobs? Yes, that's correct. Well, it certainly did look like it, too. N-O up there first. Second word, seven letters. The horn section. The horn section. Ready? Ready. Go. N. T. S. The horn section. L. Antlers. That's correct. The third word has eight letters. A subtitle. Ready? Ready. Go. S. L. N. Oh, just a little too late. Well, mm -hmm. congratulations, Gene. Thank you. You did it again. They were four tough words, too. Uh, she waited a little longer for snog, though. She didn't have the trouble you had with it. Ross, okay, thanks for coming on the show. Going to uh, leave us with $500. Gene's going to get a chance at 2000 more right after this. Stay with us. Gene Marinelli is going to try for three thousand dollars more. I should say. What are you already at? Two, ten thousand? I yeah. said two before, but it was uh, three thousand when we went to the break. Okay. Little little mistake on my part. Okay. Thousand bucks. First word. Well, it's to your advantage, though. I mean, you know. All right. First word. Six letters. It's a short dash. It's a short dash. It's a short dash. Ready? Yes. Go. Hyphen. That's correct. 9.4 seconds. We got time to just about play this out. Nine seconds, seven letters. They're very defensive. They're very defensive. Ready? Yes. Go. L. A. C. S. T. K. C. Tackle. You got it. Oh, man. You started struggling with ACS, and I thought, holy cow. I thought we were she going for this? What is no, no, no. That's, that's why I was hoping you'd play it you out. You told me to play it out. Yeah, but I'm telling you, boy, ACS, I thought, holy cow, where's she going with this? Yeah, well, no, good, I don't congratulations. know where I was going. $13,000. Good for you, kiddo. Thank uh, you. Now about the telephone Scrabble game that I told you about. Charlie, Charlie's going to tell you about the rest of the way to play it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. No purchase or 900 telephone call necessary. For an alternate entry method at no charge, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Scrabble, Box 642-180, Omaha, Nebraska, 68164. Washington State, Vermont, and California residents only may omit return postage. Each entry request must be mailed separately and received by May 21st, 1993. You will receive a card good for one charge-free gameplay. Touchstone phones only. For complete rules, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Rules, Box 55085, Sherman Oaks, California, 91413. Members of our studio audience will receive outdoor products quality travel gear made in the USA. Great for travel or outdoor recreation use. Life is a journey. We'll help you pack. Furnished by Outdoor Products. The following company has paid a fee for product promotion. Johnny Cat Firmer Clumping Scoop Formula Cat Litter is multiple cat strength in a 100% recycled box. Johnny Cat Scoop Formula Cat Litter. See you tomorrow.
We love you. We'll see you here on the family too. Show until next time. This is Peter Tumark, and on behalf of the Focati Rug, saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. bye.